Hello, everyone. So as promised, I'm starting this short holiday week uh, in the stock market, trading multiple stocks. So as you can see here, I have, as I talked about in my last video, I have mini charts set up, multiple cells, so I can observe everything that's going on, all possible crosses. Each simplified chart has my 9 EMA, 200 EMA, and the VWAP. And of course, my bread and butter strategy is when the 9 EMA crosses VWAP and that cross matches its position above or below 200 EMA. So I have all these standard high volume stocks that I typically like to keep an eye on, even though historically I only trade SPY. I went ahead and put some other tasty possibilities here to keep an eye on and jump into when a cross happens. Um, as, as I talked about in my the previous video, you can see also the, the red and green squares. Those are visuals and, and auditory alerts that happen when the cross happens. Off to the side here, I also have scanners set up. So if some stock out there that I don't routinely watch, that I don't have here on my dashboard, happens to produce a signal, I can jump in, take advantage of that. And today that actually happened with Tesla. Because even though Tesla's high volume, I typically don't trade it because it's a, it's basically a meme stock at this point and it is volatile beyond belief. Though it did turn out profitable today, which we will talk about. So overall, this was the, this was the trading plan. All right, so today I bought 100 shares of any stock that produced a signal in the, the multiverse of stocks, uh, specifically ones that I, I traditionally follow. Um, and this the in yellow is the summary of my strategy, 9 EMA cross VWAP with matching above or below 200 EMA. If you want to know what that strategy is in detail, ask me in the question. Like, if you're new to my channel, I talk about it every single video, but... You know, check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, ask me in the questions, uh, comments below. I'll answer any questions you have. Um, but here's the thing. All right. So I'm trying to watch many, many stocks at once, multiple stocks, dozens of stocks. I needed, I could easily see when a signal is produced, but I needed a good way of quickly coming up with a stop loss and take profit. Because as I always talk about, a successful strategy is only successful if you can get a, make a profit and get out with a profit in a reasonable, fast way. You know, get the money and get out. That's my that's my uh, that's my philosophy. So, I recommend a good take profit is one point five reward to one risk. All right, so that one to one point five risk reward is something you don't typically see, but statistically it, it is most likely to produce profit for you and uh, reduce the number of losses that you have so overall in the long term it is the most profitable risk reward all right so but i needed a way of knowing okay well what should my stop loss what should my take profit be and that i, I ended up having to use atr average true range which some people say it's a great way to set a stop loss, and some people say it's a terrible way to set a stop loss. Um, that nobody actually really uses it, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know what it is, but for this experiment this week where I'm trading multiple stocks, I can't just sit there. I can't assume, because if I just trade SPY, I do, you know, 75, you know, 75 cent stop loss and a dollar fifty, which is actually a two to one or one to two, depending on how you, you uh, set up the ratio. <laughs> um, but I can't, you know, I'm not just trading SPY. I'm going to be getting into all these other stocks that I'm not familiar with. I need some way that I can quickly see. And actually on, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Over on the chart here, you can see that I actually added a column to the, the list here, the watch list, that actually tells you what the ATR is at that, that given moment. So when I switch over, when a, cross ha when a signal happens, a cross happens, I can see, okay, which, what is the ATR? And then when I maximize this cell here, which is my trading with active trader it's my actual trading cell um i can instantly create i can instantly get in um and i actually ahead of time created a bunch of te order templates that are based on the formula here so basically the stop loss is set at two times the atr and then the take profit is 1.5 times the stop loss so hopefully that makes sense so basically 
And again, I created a bunch of uh, order templates that reflect these calculations so I didn't have to do them on the fly. But I would, when I got a signal on a stock, I would take a look to see what the ATR is, select a order template where the ATR was close to two times, so the, the stop loss was close to two times the ATR for whatever stock I was about to jump into, as well as part of that te order template has a take profit of 1.5 times ATR. So I set up a bunch ahead of time so I can quickly just look at the stock, confirm that it's good to get into, hit the button with that, or select the order template, hit the button, get in and get out. All right. So I'm babbling a lot. Hopefully that all made sense. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to clarify. I'm trying to make this quick because there's a lot to talk about and I'll be doing this throughout the week. So how, the question is, what does the profit look like? So I actually took a screenshot of my profit statement um, and I made a little over $700 and this is just the morning action. So I'm actually making this video at 11 a.m. So this was all the trades I got into and got out of beforehand. Um, I'm still getting signals. I actually closed out Thinkorswim just so I didn't get any because it's going beep, beep, but the but the beeping is slowed down because I was obviously a lot, not a lot of signals are happening. The crosses have already happened. The market's choosing direction on a number of stocks. So most of this came in a flurry at about 10 a.m. So unfortunately, it's so, okay. So I made a little over $700, which is good. Um, that's, that's a decent, that's a solid day for when I was just trading SPY and going all in on SPY. But as you can see here, I... My PL for the day was negative on Meta, so Facebook, and BAC, which is Bank of America. Um, lost twenty dollars to Bank of America. Lost a little, little less than eighty dollars on, on Facebook. So or Meta. So not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. That's not a significant loss considering I won. Uh, I met my profit, my take profit on Tesla, AMD, Apple, uh, QQQ which is an ETF that follows the NASDAQ index, NVIDIA and SPY, which is, if you don't know, is an ETF that follows the S&P 500. So I ended up making $236 on SPY, a little over $200 on NVIDIA, $120 on QQQ, triple Q, $100 on Apple, $90 on AMD, $60-ish on Tesla, and that all adds up for net profit of $722. So not a bad day. Um, that's on par with a good, like I said, a, you know, a, a decent day uh, just trading SPY, what I've tradi traditionally made just trading SPY. So what are the advantages of here? I basically made the same amount of money, but, well, first of all, you can see that my, my 9 EMA VWAP cross strategy is a winner because it won out of, how many times is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It won six out of eight times. <laughs> so that's pretty darn good. That is the major that is 75% of that 75% win rate. So that's pretty decent. And my losses, because my losses are, you know, less than my reward, that the actual losses weren't too bad. I only lost two, and it was only a fraction of my overall profit. So so again, so this is about about what I'd make just trading spy on a good day. But I guess you could say that spreading it over multiple stocks is best because not all my eggs are one basket. So if I, so it's either like, it's either feast or famine if I'm just trading SPY. If I go in with 500, 600, 700, 800 shares of SPY alone and it ends up turning against me, I lose a big chunk of money, you know? But at least with multiple stocks, maybe it kind of, you know, it averages out, it smooths things out. And maybe I'll find, a, a, you know, a pattern after I do this. Maybe after a while, I'll see that I constantly stop out on meta, which means that this this formula for coming up with the stop loss and take profit just might not work for, for Facebook, for meta. So same thing with Bank of America. So I could just stop trading that, you know, if I find that it doesn't really fit this formula. But it seems like most did. Most, most were successful with the trading strategy, and this formula for coming up with the stop loss and take profit. So overall, decent day. I mean, I can't complain. I'm not going to complain about making $700 a day. Um, that's solid. Now, today is the first day. So this is one, one data point. So we'll see how the, the days go going forward. I might trade more today. 
Um, we'll see. It's now, like I said, it's let off after 11 a.m. And I'd like to be done before noon. So probably I'll just call it because, you know, I don't want to run the risk of losing that seven hundred dollars. So that's it. That's all. That's the day in a nutshell. This was the trading plan and what the trading plan I'll be doing throughout the week um, over here. This is uh, the, the blah, 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 blah. this the, in yellow is my strategy, my go to bread and butter strategy that I'll be following. And the green and the blue is how I'm calculating the stop loss and take profit based on average true range and a one to 1.5 risk reward ratio. Hopefully that all makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you thought this was awesome, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was, if you thought it was dumb, give me a thumbs up. I don't care. I just want you to interact with the video. Um, if you enjoy my content, again, I don't, I share my, my, my secrets. I share my strategies. I share my successes to hopefully inspire you um, to give you the confidence, give you the tools necessary to hopefully make money in your own trading lives. But I don't charge anything. I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you an expensive, you know, an expensive class or anything like that. So the, the best way you can quote unquote pay me back is comment, share, subscribe, like the video, help this channel grow. That's, that's all you got to do. And I appreciate every single time. So thank you so much for your support. I'll keep you updated on how this week goes. I might, I, I don't know if I'll post a video every single day. But I will definitely, um, I'll definitely keep you updated about things that are going on, good or bad or otherwise. Okay, so that's it. This video's run way longer than my typical day trading video is, so I'm stopping it now. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, good luck out there.